formulating functional level strategy. We all know the functional level of the organization is the level of operating divisions and departments. The strategic issues at the functional levels are related to business processes and the value chain. In this lesson, we will evaluate the implementing global strategies and related issues, describe the role of leaders in functional level strategic management, appreciate the significance of a good structural design in functional level management, and analyze the significance of utilizing the information and control system. After going through this presentation, you should be able to explain putting strategy into action, roles of leaders in functional level, strategic management, structural design, information and control system and implementing global strategies. Functional strategies deals with a relatively restricted plan designed to achieve objectives in a specific functional area, allocation of resources among different operations within that functional area and coordination among different functional areas for optimal contribution to the achievement of business and corporate level objectives. To plan and implement a functional strategy, it is pertinent to have a proper review of the functional structure of an organization. It is the functional structure which has to be modernized, updated and renovated with acquisition of technology, enhancement of core competence and competitive costs and good benefits. The first step is about linking the strategy map to the creation or reaffirmation of the organization's mission, core values and vision. If an organization wants to be a market leader, it must know what its customers value. Once it has this information, the organization can refocus its efforts to provide value drivers better than its rivals. The organization then chooses the value proposition to help it win market share. Organizations need to determine their plans and strategies around revenues and costs. Once the financial strategy has been determined, the organization needs to make formal plans and strategies. The organization must establish the actions that will realize its plans and strategies to win market share. The organization must draft a plan to execute the story that has been developed so far. Once the financial and customer strategies are established and an execution plan devised, the organization will almost certainly find some gaps in the knowledge, skills and abilities it requires. Role of leaders in functional level strategic management are looping strategies with tactical tools, gathering and sharing information, goals, communication, accountability and measuring processes, organizational design, strategy alignment and making it work. Before executing a plan of action, leaders must know how they can be most effective and creditable within their organization how they personally function as leaders and how they can best influence others to gain support and commit to their strategies. These sources of information can come from outside vendors, customers, industry experts and salespeople. When leaders only establish one goal of increasing sales or profits, they are setting themselves up for execution failure. Goal setting needs to be done by using a step-by-step -step process that creates clear, understandable and obtainable short and long-term objectives that will produce the best strategy execution results. The flow and type of information communicated will play a significant role in how successful leaders will be in implementing their ideas throughout the organizations. It is imperative that the person delivering the, the messages is well respected and trusted throughout the company. Leaders must put in place systems for how managers will be evaluated and held accountable for their execution performance. The systems should include a reward structure and what management practices are required to obtain such rewards. To gain the necessary insights, leaders 
must conduct in-depth research within their organizations to find out what has worked in the past and why. It is important that when leaders develop their strategy that is aligned to the culture of the company. Strategy execution is a complex process that cannot be taken lightly. Every strategy is different and will require a unique execution plan of action that will align the strategy to the organization's culture, processes and structures. Functional structure in the functional level strategy formulation is most often called as structural design. In a functional structure, teams or groups are created based on common functions in a bottom-up manner. The result is a set of functional units such as engineering, marketing, finance, human resource, etc. that are controlled and coordinated from the top level management. Functional structure are the most common type of structural design and have evolved from the concept of high specialization, high control framework of manufacturing organizations tuned towards high efficiency. Functional structures are typically highly hierarchical, hence they inherit the properties of hierarchical structure. In a divisional structure, the teams are organized in set of divisions where each division corresponds to the end product or services provided by the organization. Each division has its own set of functional units like research, manufacturing, marketing, etc. and is completely self-contained. A divisional structure is less hierarchical than functional. It is formed by decomposing the functional structure along the product lines. Active collaborations between different specializations provide employees with opportunities for learning new skills beyond their own area of expertise. It is easier to comprehend the dynamics of a product and therefore is best suited for nurturing general managers in an organization. Information and controls are to be an integral part of any organization's functional level strategies. The information system of the organization should be up to date as it should have complete knowledge about the market trends and its close competitors. Controls consist of all the measures taken by the organization for the purpose of protecting its resources against waste, fraud and inefficiency ensuring accuracy and reliability in accounting and operating data, securing compliance with the policies of the organization and evaluating the level of performance in all organizational units of the organization. The internal audit role is to examine the adequacy and effectiveness of the company internal controls and make recommendations where control improvements are needed. Internal control systems operate at different levels of effectiveness. Determining whether a particular internal control system is effective is a judgment resulting from an assessment of whether the five components control environment, risk assessment, control activity, information and communication and monitoring are present and functioning. Internal controls rely on the principle of checks and balances in the workplace. Personnel need to be competent and trustworthy with clearly established lines of authority and responsibility documented in written job descriptions and procedure manuals. Organizational charts provide a visual representation of lines. Authorization procedures need to include a thorough review of supporting information to verify the propriety and validity of transactions. Segregation of duties reduces the likelihood of errors and irregularities. An individual is not to have responsibility for more than one of the three transaction components. Authorization, custody and record keeping. Monitoring operations is essential to verify that controls are operating properly. Reconciliations, confirmations and exception reports can provide this type of information. The main role of a CEO is to communicate a vision and to guide strategic planning. Once strategies have been agreed on, the next step is implementation. 
This is where most failures occur. It is not uncommon for strategic plans to be drawn up annually and to have no impact on the organization as a whole. A common method of implementation is Hoopla, a total communication effort. Strategic measurement can help in implementing the strategic plan. Good performance measures identify the critical focus points of an organization and reward their successful achievement. In larger organizations, cascading the strategic plan and associated measures can be essential to everyday implementation. To a degree, Hoopla celebrations, events and so on can drive down the message, but in many organizations, particularly those without extremely charismatic leaders, this is not sufficient. Strategy implementation almost always involves the introduction of change to an organization. Managers may spend months, even years, evaluating alternatives and selecting a strategy. Macro organizational issues are large scale, system wide issues that affect many people within the organization. Technology can be defined as the knowledge, tools, equipment, and work methods used by an organization in providing its goods and services. Organizational structure is the formal pattern of interactions and coordination developed to link individuals to their jobs and jobs to departments. Micro-organizational issues pertain to the behavior of individuals within the organization and how individual actors in the larger organization will view strategy implementation. One technique for evaluating forces operating in a change situation is force field analysis. This technique uses a concept from physics to examine the forces for and against change. Top management is essential to the effective implementation of strategic change. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Internal control systems operate at different levels of effectiveness. Right or wrong? Right. Leaders must put in place systems for how managers will be evaluated and held accountable for their executive performance. Right or wrong? Right. To plan and implement a functional strategy, it is pertinent to have a proper review of the matrix structure of an organization. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Functional strategies deals with a relatively restricted plan designed to achieve objectives in a specific functional area, allocation of resources among different operations within that functional area, and coordination among different functional areas for optimal contribution to the achievement of business and corporate level objectives. Role of leaders in functional level strategic management are looping strategies with tactical tools, gathering and sharing information, goals, communication, accountability and measuring processes, organizational design, strategy alignment and making it work. Functional structure in the functional level strategy formulation is most often called as structural design. Information and controls are to be an integral part of any organization's functional level strategies. The main role of a CEO is to communicate a vision and to guide strategic planning. Functional level strategies are concerned with coordinating the functional areas of the organization. Marketing, finance, human resources, production, research and development, etc. So that each functional area upholds and contributes to individual business level strategies and the overall corporate level strategy.